Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video. Someone suggested in the comments that uh, they were having troubles on building a um, uh, well, an SSTO, but not just any SSTO, but an SSTO in career mode that has really low tech. So hey, you're in luck. Uh, I know how to build SSTO. <laughs> what? Me know how to build SSTO. How would you pronounce that anyway? Sto? Me know how to build sto. <laughs> so I shall build old stole this is old stole huh. old stole old stole anyway so cool little feature you click this little thingy up here and then you click this wait where to go up oh, right here you click this thingy right here and it gives you all the technologies from tier one all the way to tier nine right so if i was to click on tier five that means everything five and below is use well is what we could use he said he said uh, but they said that uh, uh they're getting for like really really you know the the basics of tech technology here why do i have two swivels. Eh, what? Well, anyway, so we we really don't have, we don't have jet engines. We we only have rockets. Where is jet engines anyway? Number tier four. Okay. I used to make a series called Solar Nations, and I think it went up to like episode forty three or forty six. I can't remember before I stopped. I can't remember what tier level we were at. I know we didn't have this. We must have been at tier five when I stopped because I remember we had the uh, the Weasley engine, even though technically we didn't build an SSTO. It was more more of a two staged craft, but that was because I was trying to keep with, you know, if I would, if I would start playing and, you know, they had SSTOs day one, it would have been kind of a meh. And like, oh, like, wow, wow okay. okay. No, no gradual build up to it. Just boom, SSTO. You have your stove, sir. Okay, so time to build a stove. And in this case, because we're only going to go up to tier two, I would, I, I, pr mm, no, you can't. Okay. You can't build an SSTO at tier one. And I'll tell you why. An SSTO means single staged to orbit, right? So if I was to make, you know, a bunch of these, oh, that's cool how it does that. One pop right after the other, it overheats it and blows it up and it overheats it and blows it up. And that, th those are considered stages, so that wouldn't work. So it, it it is technically impossible to build an SSTO using just tier one. However, tier two, you open up things like the swivel, apparently both of them. How is the Reliant tier three? How do you go from maneuverable thrust vectoring to tier three, not maneuverable thrust vectoring, just raw power. How does that work? I don't know. So what we're going to essentially build is, is an SSRT. Uh, SSRT stands for single stage rot rot rotting technology. What the fuck? Rocket technology. Yeah. It was actually a uh, phrase that was coined before SSTO was was a thing by McDonnell Douglas before they became Boeing. And all it is is basically just one stage that's rocketed, that's rocket powered, and it goes up and it comes down. One stage. All rocket powered. Goes up, comes back down, refuel, goes back up. It's something I fell in love with when I was a kid because of the uh, cool designs of the rockets, and plus there was a game called Outpost 2, which utilized that design for their uh, orbiter in, in the towards the end game when you unlock the technology. I missed that game. I should play it one day. I still have it on the computer. It's just <laughs> collecting digital dust. Alright, so SSRT, huh? New problem. I know what I'm doing. Maybe. Okay, let's see. Alright, let's uh, build just a bunch of these. And I do believe I built one one of these in the um, in the uh, blah, blah, blah. insane hard career mode that I was actually uh, making a series of, but it became too grindy, and I just simply did not have time for that. Um, there's a lot of people asking me to start it back up again, and uh, I wouldn't mind doing that, but I just don't have I just don't have the time. Where do you have Where do you find the time? Okay, maybe not, maybe make a nice little design right here. Isn't that cute? It's like a little thing. The swivel, huh? Okay. Wow. That is a dinky little engine. TWR of 1.4, Delta V of only 3,000. I don't think that's enough to get into orbit. You typically want at least 4,000, give or take. 38,000, I mean 3,800 maybe. 3,700, ugh. Talking about 3,500, you're really pushing it. We might be able to make it up there with 3,000. Oh cool, look at that. Hey, whatever. I'm thinking. I'm still thinking. I love these these uh, um, skins that restock gives you. I just love it. Yeah, we'll go with that. Looks nicer. Looks more amber aerodynamic. I'm not sure this would work. Now, if I believe, I believe that in um, in career mode, hmm, oxidizer, you do have uh, the ability to control rigid attachments, but you do not have the ability to control auto strut. So we will simply turn on all our rigid 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 detachments. Att 
attachments will be on on turn it on turn it all on turn all the turn on all the things okay who do we got flying this thing jibadel <laughs> you're so dead in three two one uh-huh that should be good a little prograde let's see what happens and the flight thing that was a little off let's try again and getting a little warm there uh wait 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 uh, not quite not quite please don't pop too well i, I think we'll be okay i think uh, maybe not maybe not maybe not a oh, little too high wasted a little too much fuel i think we'll be okay we still got 1100 or so meters per second i, I think we're gonna be fine actually twr of five Okay, that's some kick. And go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. You always want to try to get time to epilepsis as low as you can. All right, and throttle back up, throttle back up, throttle back up. And see how it slows down. It goes back up. Look at that. 700 meters per second left. I think we could power land this thing. Huh. How's our electric charge? Oh, it's, okay, it's stable. No, 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 no. Get back there. We're wasting electricity. And give it a puff. Give it a puff. Oops, that's a little too much proof. Hey, you want to go in at least 55,000. You start looking at 50, 44, 40, 40,000. You might burn up before you hit the ground. Just saying. All right, we're going to give it a little bit of juice. And, and, okay, that's good. All right, let's do this. Now, as in descent profile... <laughs> I couldn't tell you. I really couldn't tell you. This is just gonna have to wing it. It looks a little more ass heavy, so that might be good. Even though, remember that your camera is naturally pointed to the center of mass of a vehicle. So that means our camera is pointed like right here somewhere, which means the center of mass is kind of right, right there. So it's towards the center, but it looks more ass end heavy. I'm gonna refrain from using sass or anything because well, our electricity is uh, a little crap. crap. Sure hope it's not a night landing. That would ruin my day. Uh, here we go. Huh, that's really cool. Interesting. I wonder why it calculates it like that or I don't know. I wonder what this is gonna look like on fast forward. What are you doing? What are you doing centering? No, 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 no. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Please keep moving. Oh my gosh, keep moving. No, you're gonna pop. Oh, she's gonna pop. She's gonna pop. She's gonna pop. Gosh, damn it. Ah, oh, fuck. What happens if we pointed up all the time? Did that work? Whoa, that went... That That's like a hot dog right now. I'm hungry. Oh, that is... That is... Oh, what's the... Oh, 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 oh. Easy, 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 easy. Easy with the window snitch. What? Oh, no, it's gonna do it again. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, shake it off. Shake it off. <laughs> shake, shake it off. Ah! Hmm, I know this creates drag. Hmm. Well. Okay, this time we got up there with 700 meters per second. Not bad. Going to land this sucker. Here she goes. I'll say, okay, okay. For my next trick, if it starts overheating, I am going to floor it. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, now. Easy. Keep an eye on it. If it starts overheating, okay, floor it again. All right. <laughs> I think we saved it. We only have 400 meters per second. Delta V. Is that going to be enough power to land this sucker? And we're over water as well, which may be a good thing for us. Because I don't see this thing staying up straight. Straight up. What? Oh, we're coming in hard. Come on, slow down for the parachutes. Are you serious? We're going to slam into the damn ocean? That damn hard? Fuck! How did I do it last time? You know what? I think I had a service bay. And the service bay acted like air brakes. When I opened up the uh, service bay, it created a lot of drag, which slowed me down. Ah, that's what I must have done. I can't remember, but that's got to be it. Damn, I was hoping to go for a tier 2 SSTO. Eh, <laughs> well now, shiny. That's a problem. Teal! Teal, hello, how are you? Welcome to the fold. Oh, oh, you're gonna have to move up. We have another one coming through the door. The Wonder Fond. Welcome to the fold. Gosh damn it, someone closed that fucking door. Welcome to the fold, grab your pamphlet. Go, 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 yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Oh my God, put the wick, we are closed. Put the side, oh, yes, yes, welcome, welcome. Take a seat, take a seat. We are out of pamphlets. No more pamphlets. Everybody go. Is that it? We good? Okay, close the door. Close the door. Close it. Close, 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 close. Go, 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 go. Everybody grab a hoodie. There you go. Prepare the liquid fuel sacrifice. Let's get this over with before somebody else comes in. At this point, I have no fucking clue. Oh, yes. Very wiggly. Oh, yes. Okay. That's, that, that's, nope. In tier two, they, they might not even do the whole fuel transfer thing either. 
Oh no! It looks, it looks like it. Yeah, because if I remember correctly, you have to unlock something in order for the fuel to drain out evenly throughout the entire craft. That 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 feature comes later on, right? Gosh. Damn it. I was hoping for this to be a tier two SSTO, but apparently it's gonna look like I'm gonna have to do a tier three and use this as air brakes. Well, shit. That's not cool. Mm. So I guess what I'm tr really trying to hoping to get from this is that with the extra command pods, I'm gonna be able to have more control. Keep the nose up if it will, or if you will, and but the basically just keep the ass end from burning up. Since we can't use any tier three parts, that means I can't use the service bay as poor man's air brakes. Consciousness, that's great. Are you back with us, Jeb? All right, come on, buddy. Turn this ship around. You know what? Fuck it. Jump! What? 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 Huh. Why am I not surprised? Apparently, even with a brand new computer, KSP manages to crash. But anyway, everyone, sadly, I'm all out of time. I have a 12 hour shift tomorrow. The big snowstorm is about to hit, and they've got all hands on deck. So I'll be working a very, very long, tedious, and tiresome 12 hour shift tomorrow. Snow plowing and all that jazz. Boy, that's gonna suck. But anyway, if I had more time, I would definitely try to figure out how to land this thing. If I remember correctly, I had the service bay to help me slow down. But it is possible to build a tier 2 SSTO. Now, a tier 2 SSTO where you can land it? That remains to be seen. But anyway, if you like this video, please leave a like. And if you really, really, really like this video, consider subscribing. I upload videos almost every other day. It's a little slow right now because there's like a lot on my plate. But yeah, I hope you had fun and maybe even learned something. Anyways, thank you everyone for watching this Kerbal Space Program video. And I will see everyone in the next video. Love you all. Stay safe. I am Veos. Signing off. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.